Hey guys, thanks for checking out Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward with the lady who needs no introduction. We are here. <laughs> like you always introduce me like that. Really? Because well, yeah. you don't. Hi, I'm Debbie. <laughs> Debbie Ryan. Debbie, Debbie Ryan. Ryan, everyone, Debbie Ryan. So today's Radio Rebel Day. We're celebrating this brand new Disney Channel original movie. Yeah. It's finally here. What are you most excited about for viewers to take away from this movie? Yeah, um, I think I'm excited. I don't know, for me, I grew up watching like kind of older movies and like 80s movies and I really like the idea of like this kind of, you know, rebellion but not rebellion for the sake of rebellion, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of really standing up for who you are and yeah. and discovering that and fighting for that, not being afraid to fight for what you want and um, I feel like this movie totally, you know, not only summarizes that but it's also very 2012 as well. So I feel like it has a bit of classic, a bit of modern and, um, great characters and mm -hmm. a kick in soundtrack. So I feel like people are gonna dig it, hopefully. Yes, of course. And uh, you are actually Radio Rebel. You're not AKA, to tell people that. AKA Tara, come on, <laughs> we know you star in the movie. Break it down for anyone who's been chilling under a rock and doesn't know about the movie yet. So the movie Radio Rebel is about a girl who um, is terribly shy. Uh, her name is Tara. <laughs> Tara really shy. I didn't mean to do that, but it just kind of happened, and I'm just into happened. it. I'm in on it. <laughs> she also happens to have a very loud, confident voice for uniqueness and just the beauty of individuality. As she's kind of finding this, she's doubling as a faceless radio DJ called Radio Rebel, and um, that ends up kind of creating a revolution in, in her city of Seattle. So she's on, she goes to this radio station, Slam FM, and it gets bigger, and then it gets school-wide, and then it gets city-wide, and as she's getting bigger and bigger, of course, there are people who are coming against her and trying to silence her voice, and mm -hmm. she's learning to really stand up, not only for who she is as, as a person, but also for all the people who are listening to her, you know? Yeah, it seems like self-expression is really one of the main themes of Absolutely. Radio Rebel. Mm -hmm. um, music is obviously a really big part of the movie, mm -hmm. and I love that we love your music, right. you're really into music. Um, what was it like being a part of a movie where you're a DJ and yeah. music is at the Disney, forefront? Disney, I think, knows me by this point. They know the stories that I want to tell. They know I have my music blog. They know that I produce <laughs> music. So they know who I am. They also know that I don't want to try and be, you know, glee. Like, things have been done, and they should be left alone, you know? They're like, we've done High School Musical, we're not doing that again, yeah. <laughs> you know? And, and, and I completely agree. I'm like, I don't want to be in that, but I feel like there's not been a huge emphasis on radio, for my generation at least. Um, I've seen a couple 80s movies and a couple 90s movies about it, but it's been a while. So we kind of adapted it, and it's, it's based off a book, which was really fun, and mm -hmm. because music is such a big part. I have a song of mine that was in there, but I also covered a song that everyone was like singing and jamming incessantly during the filming of it. Um, yeah, tell us a little bit about the song you covered. Yeah, I covered We've Got the Beat yes. by the Go-Go's, which was insane. You know, you never, you always kind of like sing songs that you grew up hearing, mm -hmm. but you never expect to be able to cover them. So speaking of music and dance um, and the movie, prom is actually a really big part of the movie. Yeah. Fill us in on that. Prom is very important, I feel like, just in growing up and expressing mm -hmm. who you are. And it's really the last big bang to say, this is who I am before you leave high school and go off into the world. Prom being canceled in the movie was a really big thing and yeah. people blamed Radio Rebel for it. And so Tara mm -hmm. comes up with this idea of kind of a bit of a backwards prom that she's throwing herself called Morp. And prom backwards. Prom spelled backwards. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone jams the Morp and it's very come as you are. So it's kind of like the prom I wish I had where you uh -huh. can wear like jeans and vans. And so you just kind of like show up and people look rock star fabulous and some people are yeah. like prommed out and some people are dressed like, you know, Star Trek. And it's just super fun and <laughs> seriously. But it's also the day that you find out Radio Rebel being nominated for Prom Queen. It's a very monumental scene. It was the yeah. biggest scene. It was the last scene we filmed. Oh, you actually shot that last. That doesn't happen a lot when no, you shoot it movies. It really doesn't. And actually, there's an alternate ending that we filmed like first. So oh. it was supposed to be all of us coming and being friends and resolved. And we were like, hi, I'm Debbie. Action. What up? <laughs> <laughs> so that one actually is like an alternate ending, uh -huh. but the prom warp is a jam. Gavin, who's like my love interest mm -hmm. in the movie, he ends up playing an original song for Tara, and 
It, it's cool. It's a really cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a really rad scene. I think people are gonna dig it. But what was cool about it was shopping for the fashions and really being like, okay, you can be edgy, you can be rock and roll, you can uh -huh. be whatever you want to be. Totally. And talk to me a little bit about Tara's fashion because I feel like it's very much you. Like totally we see am. you in her fashions. You see me in my beanies and my <laughs> Yeah, this is my, hey, I'm doing interviews. Look how put together I am, look. Whereas last night, I was in a flannel and a beanie and skinny jeans. You can jeans. mix it up, girl. <laughs> mix it up a little bit. You know, she very much knows who she is. It's not that Tara doesn't know who she is. It's that she's kind of afraid to be bold about it. But she also kind of pulls together these vintage t-shirts. She ends up cut, well, t-shirts that literally right before the scene, I went and just like cut oh. and put on. And <laughs> so there's things like that. And the more that she kind of grows, the bolder she gets with her fashion. So it's an evolution. And you see at the end her morph outfit and her morph hair and her morph makeup. Like she's actually wearing makeup. Like nice. It's cool. It's a really cool vibe. Well, I am very excited for Morp and yeah. for Radio Rebel. And I'll teach you the dance sometime. All right. Well, you heard it straight from Debbie. <laughs> Make sure you check out the Disney Channel on February 17th. Radio Rebel, it will hit you. I'm Dana Ward with Debbie Ryan. See you next time. Bye, y'all.